Tonight, there is a Lancaster summer youth program that may hold the key to the future when it comes to students finally returning to the classroom. Good evening once again. We have our eye on education for you tonight. And as schools all over the country look to rebound from this COVID-19 pandemic, the search is on now for how students and staff can safely return to the classroom. U.S. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos said today that schools must, quote, fully operational, be up and fully operating with regular in-person instruction for the fall semester this year. And she says that anything less will fail students and taxpayers. President Trump has insisted that schools and colleges return to in-person classes as soon as possible. Here at home, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ala Araby takes us to Lancaster tonight, where the lesson plan there stands out above all the rest. A five-week math and reading reinforcement program for elementary school children is set to begin next week. It's also a taste of how schools may operate if they reopen their doors to in-person learning this fall. John Trojanowski is the executive director of the Lancaster Youth Bureau. Because of the guidelines that we have to follow through New York State, we have to make sure that children are socially distanced and uh, wear masks except when they're seating at their desks. Staff have to wear their masks at all times. Classes have just six students each, but Trojanowski says they are able to accommodate up to eight students in large enough rooms, like this one. Governor Cuomo says if school districts are able to open in the fall, they must submit their plans to the state to reopen. When children enter the Lancaster Youth Bureau, each group will enter separately. Each child will have their temperature checked and hand sanitized before entering the building. They will come to the main door. A staff member will check them in, will screen them. There are screening questions that need to be asked. And any class or homework will be done through handouts. We won't be giving each child a book that will be left behind for another child to use. So every, any materials they have will be their own that they will take home with them at the end of each class. When students come back starting next week, they'll get that experience that they've been wanting to get since March, being in a classroom with their teacher and fellow students. A lot of the parents have said to me that their uh, children are looking forward to being other children in a classroom-like situation with a teacher. Classes begin July 13 and run through August 13. In Lancaster, I'm Ala Araby, 7 Eyewitness News.